Atreus Monk here. Um, so, a while back, I decided to back this game from Double Fine called Massive Chalice that you're seeing right here. Now, just today, uh, th there were some people that were in on early access alphas before, but um, I, I didn't back that. I didn't back for that much. <clears throat> well, they just released early access today, and I think just about every backer who's getting the game has a copy now. Now, I have really not played any of this, despite this continue game button over here. Um, it's really just, I, I played through the intro cutscene and got the very, very, very beginning of things. So, we're going to take this as a very fresh look. I saw like, I watched like maybe 10, 20 minutes of the quick look EX that Giant Bomb had. So, let's go ahead and click start new game. And we'll just go ahead. Game name Atreus Monk. Uh, and we will go with, hmm, let's go with silly names and sigils. So this game is supposed to be kind of like a, it's, it, it's XCOM long. inspired. Patience. Patience. I don't see what patience has to do with this. It should have happened by now. Life keeps to its own timetable, not ours. <sighs> and I thought I turned the subtitles trying. on for this. Good morning. Your ruler has risen. That's right, the cup is talking Rejoice to us. Rejoice! And let bellow the horns of birth. Right. I know how strange all of this looks. <laughs> But there's an easy... Immortal protector of the nation, progeny of the great bloodlines, master of strategies, eternal conductor, and forger of matrimony. We're here to advise you on how to handle ruling and commanding... The horns of battle! Every time! Fine, we'll have to do this later. The Cadence is attacking. Heroes, See, jump in. I, if you ask me, it's kind of like we've got. Get in there. You know, um. The ruler will be with you shortly. Super serious but self-important male voice and practical oh, female voice. We'll we just need later. you to take command because our citizens, understandably, find it hard to trust a giant talking chalice. We are not just a giant talking but chalice. The nation will listen to you because you're of their blood. Forged from the bloodlines of the great houses. Oh, and one last thing. Unfortunately, the bloodline ritual that was used to create you also bound you to us. So you can never leave the throne. But do not despair. You can still command your heroes. Look inward, and you will find that your mind can follow them anywhere. And so now, similar to XCOM, we're dropped right into the middle of battle. Yeah? Great. Now, take command and search the area. The Cadence is out there somewhere. Yeah, like some environmental things here. <coughs> Dispersed bushes. Ah. Found one of our alchemists. A brilliant mind in a dead <sighs> body. Not worth much in a close quarters battle, but they make up Biz for it with their monkey. nasty exploding flasks. Just watch out for friendly fire. The explosions are big, so aim well or keep your heroes back. Trust us, you don't want to be on the receiving end of one of their concoctions. That's interesting. The last one that I came in with had two Here you have hunters. Found. Attacking a close range, Two alchemists good, and a caber jack, which is a melee unit. Is if you listen closely, you might be able to hear your group leaving you behind as you line up that perfect shot. Actually, the hunter will be in front of the group, stealthily scouting ahead. Is that what they say they're doing? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, let's go ahead and... Ah. Uh. Here we are. Okay. First catch of the day. We can't tell you much about the Cadence because not much is known. It's old, first sighted centuries ago, 
It cares only for destroying our nation with its corruption. That's where pawns like you see here come in. Think of them as attack dogs the Cadence creates to spread corruption in the world. Let's go ahead and move this guy up here. Hey, no more Cadence up that way. What's the deal here? Oh, they have... Let's follow up. Standard attack that fires a second shot for 50% damage if the first shot hits. Okay. So he's actually... Yeah, he's level 2. He's got like an extra skill. Kind of trying to move everybody into something resembling position here. And go back to this guy. No, no, no. I don't want to select you. I want... So we got Peter Morgan. Sariel DeVoe. Morgo Morgan. So apparently they're related. Biz Monkey and Conal Monkey. Or Conal Monkey. Okay. We're going to go ahead and fire a shot at this lapse up here. <sighs> Stealth move. Apparently doesn't have any moves left. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to get more information on people. Ah, yes, here we go. So see, you can see each of these people. The idea here is that it's sort of like a generational XCOM almost. There's this war that's going on, and you have people that grow old, die, things like that. So... Biz Monkey here has he's nearsighted and slow, which is why you can't move him again. He's a lone wolf, so he's you know, has improved stats when nobody's nearby, and he's at a prime age, which gives him increased hit points and strength. And he looks like he's got a pretty uh, reasonable intelligence here, but pretty poor everything else except for speed and sight and even that though you know sights down and speeds down so he's a thrower he's got the alchemist armor and an empty slot huh okay and that's kinda like his skill tree So Peter Morgan here has a nice... I guess this highlight here is the primary stat. So Hunters are primary dexterity. Peter Morgan has a, is a queen maker, which means he has an increased chance of having daughters. Quick, but a slow learner. He's cocky, so he's a lowered evasion at max health. That's great to know. He's reckless, so... He has less, his armor is less effective. And he's young. We've got two siblings, Morgie Morgan and Morgo Morgan. Morgo is actually here with us. Has a better dexterity. His prime age, currently hidden. Sluggish, but is a rebel. Brainy. Impressionable. And puny, which is why I don't know. I don't see the effect of the puny here. It says decreased strength, but there's no minus next to his strength. Uh, nope, not that one. So, Sariel Devoe 
Has an increased chance to have children. She's an Avenger, attuned, and currently young. And then our other... Yeah, our other monkey over here. Strong-willed, infertile, and nimble. Massive... Okay, let's get back to this here. So he, oh, see, Connell here is infertile. He can't have kids. And is faint-hearted, so you don't want him to be around somebody who dies. Hmm, looks like he might not be worth uh, investing much in after this. We'll go ahead and end our turn. Sorry, I've got a kid in here. I'm not any of them. I am these people's ruler. I am directing them around the battlefield. I'm talking to whoever decides to watch the video I make of this. I'm going to post this on YouTube. Uh, can I not? Can I not move? I thought I'd ended turn. Oh, I have to end turn for everybody. Okay. That could have been avoided. That could have been worse. At least they belong to heroic bloodlines. Oh yes, we forgot to mention. Normal humans cannot survive even a single touch from the Cadence. But because the bloodlines of your heroes are attuned to us and have our power flowing through them, they have a fighting chance. Mm, I want... Uh, see what I don't know here is that I'm like can I mean he can't attack that one he can stealth move around here Go ahead and just do an attack here. Ah, uh, seventy-five percent chance to hit, miss. No, nope, can't go there. Did we did we uncover anything over here? Nope. It's more seemingly empty space. If we want him to throw, he can't throw all that way. I wonder. Seems like he can throw over things. Let's let's move up here, and then maybe we can throw. Yeah, we can throw there. That's not going to be a very good chance, though. Oh, that was completely off. Now I'm a little wary of moving any further forward than this right now. We'll just attack from here and miss again. not bunch up too much because we don't really know for certain what kind of attacks these things have. Nope. You'll notice that the chance goes up way better the closer you get there. But nope. That's just kind of bad all round. Um, let's go back into hiding a bit. This lapse gets its turn and oh no! 
It was they killed Sariel DeVoe. So, you should get used to this now. There'll be a lot more before we're done. Remember, they're fighting for something bigger than themselves. Persevere and honor their sacrifice. There we go. How about that, eh? One down, untold millions to go. Okay, we can't stealth move around here. At least not without running. Uh, let's, let's go there. Send this other hunter around. Keep them sort of hidden. Seeds. Arguably the lowliest of pawns are more nuisance than menace. But if you're going to remember one thing, don't let those runts form a posse. Keep uh -oh. them apart. Otherwise it'll be like when caber jacks get together at a tavern. Except not the best night of your life. Okay. Point in trying to stealth move. Let's move up here. Oh, there's another lapse. Lapses. Cadence cowards. They'd rather stay back and snipe at you than fight up close. Be wary. If your heroes are hit, they may forget some of their combat training. The mind is just as vulnerable as the body. Oh, I guess I moved too far. Hmm. That's a pretty poor chance. Let's see. We don't know what these guys are like, so we'll just move forward. This is just kind of a first look situation anyway. Lapses. Okay, so let's see what we can do about these stupid little seeds. Alright. That is a lot less of a chance to hit than you'd think you'd get from that close in a straight line, no cover. 
Okay. Well, that sucked. Let's bring him a little closer into range here. I don't want to throw it over here because it might hit this hunter. But we'll throw it over at this lapse. And hopefully it hits. Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. Oh, killed my other hunter. This is not going to turn out very good for me, is it? Okay, so we'll just go ahead and attack with the thrower here and do like nothing. Uh, let's see what moving out here right next to it with this hunter will do. 50%, maybe because that's point blank. Hmm, that's kind of crappy. Uh,. Well, let's do a 67% chance of killing that in one hit, so. And it completely missed. Darn grenades. Oh, it just made me lose 150 XP on that guy. Okay. Let's go back just a little bit here and attack. Nope, still just a 50% chance. But we killed it, so that's good. Now you. Oh, you need to go ahead and move. And maybe I'm sticking close to things when I shouldn't, because this doesn't really seem to have uh, the same sort of. Um, system involved here. Okay, that seed's now dead, which is good. What's this lap's going to do? It's going to come over here and shoot at me and miss. Well, right now you can't do much because you're out of flasks. You're basically a bad melee character right now. Okay, uh, yeah, just end your turn. Um, you go ahead and stand out here. Hopefully, you can shoot that. And hopefully, you hit. There we go. More of them burst things died or blew up. Okay. Yeah, these red things blow up. and a seed. These things, these, what are they? They're burst bushes, that's what they're called. They explode when any damage gets dealt to them. Stay put here. You 
can't stand on it. You can't stand on it. Get as close as we reasonably can to this. Wait. Mm. Probably actually best for me to do that and hope it lands on target. Okay. Well. Yeah, he just hit himself. Hush. Okay. see that right now. I'm only a 50% chance to get that. This is the thing. I don't know. If I move here and it's a stealth move, does it work? Probably not. Oh. Missed that guy. Seeds running over there to attack him. That's no good. Let's see. Yeah, we'll attack this seed here. Okay, good. Killed the seed. Let's attack the laps. Hope that we don't both get killed. Well, he's dead. That wasn't even. Ugh. We're not playing it with anybody. No, oh, missed. Maybe I need to make more liberal use of stealth move. That may be the problem. All right, come on, kill it. Yay! It's dead. And we had better than I expected. Well done. Well done. I knew you'd have a knack for this. Peter Morgan is the only one who survived, which that is not a name that it should probably be giving to a girl. I think that's right. Or is that a no oh, wait, hold on. Were these all males? They were all males. Never mind. I get these symbols mixed up sometimes. We had one live. Well, that's going to have to do for our first look here at Massive Chalice. I've got some cute little girls to work on getting toward bed because it's almost bedtime. I'm Atreus Monk, and I think we'll continue on this, but... This is going to be pretty bad with only one one survivor. I think stealth move needed to get used a lot more. Thank you for joining me.